Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I have a try on haul for you with eight dresses. Now this is the season for getting dressed up. So these are gowns, but I'm not talking about New Year's. I'm talking about galas. There are a lot of fundraisers that come up in January and February and you guys need to be ready to have a nice gown to wear to those fundraisers. So what I want you to do is as you watch this try on haul, of the eight dresses, I want you to guess which one is the $6,000 gown, okay? And to make this a fair guessing game, I'm going to put all the information about the dresses in the description section after the premiere. So you ready? Let's go. Here's gown number one. This gown features a sequined bodice and a crinoline skirt. I have it in a size medium. I love the sage green color and the fact that you don't have to wear a half bra or tape up your breasts to wear it. I love the flowiness of this one and it's not one that's going to make you feel self-conscious all evening. This gown also comes in pink, navy, and beige. Gown number two looks absolutely fabulous in low light because of the sparkles on it. It just sparkles. It's a form-fitting, full-coverage gown for women who want a dress that is elegant, but not too flashy. This gown features a small train in the back for just the right glam. Love this one. Gown number three is for the woman who wants to show a little leg, but still look elegant. This red number features a one-shoulder silhouette in a very thick, stretchy material. I paired it with these red shoes from Sam Edelman, but some strappy sandals would also be a good choice. This dress also comes in black. Gown number four is one of my favorites. The gloves do it for this gown, as well as the mermaid silhouette and the very long train. Who wouldn't feel chic in this one? The strapless feature really requires breast tape or a half bra that is not too bulky. Marilyn Monroe, eat your heart out for this one. Gown number five screams Hollywood glam. The style is meant to give the illusion of skin underneath, but it's really a lining. The plunge back really sets this one off and the ruffles appear in just the right places. Nothing says classy like black Georgette. It also comes in beige. And as you can see, I'm trying to be a little bit modest with my pearls because it really does plunge in the front. Gown number six, I wanted to do something fun. This short green dress is made of a thick spandex, so it's stretchy. It features goose feathers around the bodice and I paired it with green fishnets and matching green shoes that have a black bow. This gown also comes in lots of other colors. Gown number seven is pretty in pink. I really like the ribbon detail on this one, and the material is also a stretchy spandex. It's form-fitting, but it's not too tight. And again, it shows off just enough leg in the front. It also comes in royal blue and yellow. And finally, gown number eight. This royal blue sleeveless gown features an A-line silhouette, which makes it very, very comfortable. This is one of my favorites of all of them. If you're small chested, no need for a bra, but if you're not, I would suggest using tape. I actually used a half bra and it worked pretty well. This dress also comes in five more colors. So ladies, did you figure out which one was a six figure dress? Well, if you guessed gown number five, you're correct. This gown came directly from Vera Wang in New York and I got it on a deep, deep discount. My nephew used to work for her when he was up there and so you can imagine what the discount was. This gown is from the same collection as the dress that Jennifer Lopez wore when she went to the New York premiere of Made in Manhattan. So now that you've seen all the dresses, I'm going to tell you where you can find them. Gowns one, two, and four are from Fashion Nova. Gowns three and seven are from Shein. And by the way, the one that I'm wearing is also from Shein. Gowns six and eight are from Amazon. And you can buy these directly from my Amazon store. The link is gonna be in the description section with the rest of the links to these dresses, at least the ones that I can actually link to. So in the comments, tell me which one of these gowns was your favorite. 
Thanks so much for watching, ladies, and be ready for those galas coming up. And as I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, and of course, so are you. See you next time.